Every time you have your free candle formation form, this is where you can anticipate for the distribution phase to happen. Once you are able to anticipate for the distribution phase to happen, this is where the majority of your profit taking is going to begin. Because during the distribution phase, it will provide you with the maximum move and price will expand either higher or lower with ease, depending on what your higher time frame bias is. So, as always, recapping what the three candles are. One, two, three. The lowest middle wick becomes your swing low. It's important that a middle wick on the middle candle has to be lower than the candles beside it. That is your swing low. Vice versa for swing high. One, two, three. Your middle candle's upper wick is higher compared to your first candle's upper wick and your third candle's upper wick. That is essentially your free candle formation. Now, when you have a free candle formation, your fourth candle, 8 out of 10 times, is going to be the start of some sort of a distribution phase. And of course, if your three candles is in line with your higher time frame bias, the probability of your fourth candle becoming the distribution becomes much more higher probability, right? If you look at these examples here, one, two, three, you have your swing low here. The fourth candle it expands higher to take out this high. Once it takes out that high, price retraces into this higher time frame imbalance. Look at what happens here. This candle that tapped into this higher time frame imbalance, it leaves behind one, two. Two candles besides it, with the bottom wick being higher than your middle candle's bottom wick, right? So this now becomes your swing low. One, two, three, four. This is the start of your distribution phase. As you can see here, from here to here, you had bullish candles. Those bullish candles swept out this high. So that is why the three candle formation is so powerful. Once you get this formation, to reiterate, this is where you can anticipate for the fourth candle and so on to begin your distribution phase. You always want to do the majority of your profit taking during the distribution phase. So what is the distribution phase? It's essentially where you have large expansion move. Right here, that is the distribution phase. Here, and also here. You can see how much volume and movement there is in price when it is in its distribution phase. That is where price is heavily expanding. And because price is heavily expanding there, it will have no trouble hitting your take profit and in a very short time period. They are your most favorable characteristics for every single trade you take. Because if you look here, there's not much distribution happening around this range, right? It's essentially consolidating. So your take profit is already very limited as to where price is going to head towards. There's no large expansion move to take out your take profit with ease. So let's do a top down of price. Here, on your weekly time frame, which is my higher time frame, it sweeps out this swing low. Body closes back within the range. That is a valid sweep. You have, you have a swing high that gets left behind. Again, this is your free candle formation. So the fact that it breaks through that candle formation is already a significant indicator for price reversing. That and also heavy displacement, which, which is what you get here with these heavy bullish candles. So it's clear from here to here, we are bullish. We are currently in a bullish market. Because we're currently in a bullish market, you have these imbalances that you can anticipate for price to retrace back into and potentially continuing higher. The reason being is like I said, we are in a bullish market. So when price retraces into your discount raise, you could look to set yourself up for the best possible risk to reward ratio in terms of your trades. Now, yes, during the expansion phase, you could take continuation trades, but let's say from here to here, you missed those trades or you have already taken trades there and you're looking for another opportunity. Your next opportunity comes when price takes out this swing high. One, two, three. This is still a valid swing high. This candle over here, the middle candle has the highest upper wick in comparison to these two candles over here, right? If you look at one, two, three, this isn't a swing high because your, because your last candle has a higher upper wick than your middle candle's upper wick, as well as your first candle's upper wick. This is a valid free candle formation. One, two, three, your second candle has the highest upper wick. So don't get yourself tripped up with invalid free candle formations and valid free candle formations. But you can see a price takes out this swing high and above every single swing high and below every single swing low, there is a large abundance in liquidity. And you know that price could only do two things. One is rebalance old inefficiencies 
and two, seek new liquidity. So because we have seeked this new liquidity, this is where we could anticipate for price to rebalance some sort of an old inefficiency. Hence why, if you have taken trades previously and you're looking for another opportunity to enter in, your best case scenario would be to wait for price to retrace into this imbalance or have a full body closure past this swing high to show you the continuation of your distribution phase. So let's play price out and see what it does. As you can see here, again, there's not enough conviction for price continuing higher yet. And that candle closes. So look at what you get here. The bodies are respecting the imbalance almost to the T. So the high of this imbalance here stands at 07563 and the close of this body here stands at 07588. So it is respecting this imbalance. That is showing you a clear sign of price wanting to continue higher. Because in a bullish market, this kind of race should be respected and premium arrays should be disrespected, vice versa. But look what you have here. You have another free candle formation. Yes, you have this, one, two, three, a swing high over here. But you also have this, one, two, three, swing low. Which one is more likely going to go? The swing high, right? Because from here to here, we're in a bullish market. There is no signs of a reversal to go bearish yet, which means this high is more likely to go. Not only that, but you also print a swing low and the bodies respect the imbalance of this, cap of this imbalance. So your next target should be this swing high. That is where you anticipate for price to expand to. Now, because your three candles are formed, your fourth candle, like I said, is going to be the start of your distribution in this bullish market. So let's drop down to a daily and see what price gives us. Yeah, price is fractal, right? So whatever you just done on the weekly, you do the same for the daily. Three candles, price breaks that three candle. Daily, bullish, weekly, bullish. This market reversal that happened on your daily time frame happened within a weekly higher time frame discount. And if you remember, this right here was your swing low on your weekly time frame. But it is also a swing low on your daily time frame. One, two, three, second candle, lowest wick. So that is further supporting higher price action. Now, playing it out, you can see how the daily took out this buy side liquidity. But remember, this is just your fourth candle, which is most of the time going to be the start of your distribution phase. So because that's the case, this is where you can anticipate for further expansion, right? Such as to go for this high over here, which also aligns with this imbalance over here. You have a look at another example here. This isn't the cleanest price section, but a lot of the times that is going to be the case. That's just simply how the market is. You are not going to get consistently clean price action. But this doesn't mean the free candles doesn't have any significance here because utilizing the free candles and the most recent ones, this is where you could have a much more clearer analysis as to where price is going to head to. So if we ignore previous price action and focus on your most recent one, you have this bearish order book. This swing high respects that bearish order book and continues, lo and continues lower. Not only that, but previously you had this swing low. Price has a full body closure past that swing low. Swing low violated, swing high respected. So that is your first indicator of a bearish market structure. That means this should ideally become your next drawn liquidity. The reason being is because from here to here, swing highs will be respected, swing lows were being disrespected. And not only that, but premium arrays are being respected, discount arrays are being disrespected. So there's even more conviction because your free candles form within your premium arrays. So from here to here, it is clear that we're in a bearish market structure. So if I drop down to daily, this becomes my next drawn liquidity, right? Again, price is fractal. Swing low taken out, swing high respected, swing low taken out, swing high respected. And here, you have these swing lows get taken out. Continuing to play price out, look at what price does here. Sweeps this swing high, and it sweeps this swing high. So two times price has failed to have a full body closure past your swing high. That is showing weakness in price to continue higher. And hence why, after you had this free candle formation form, your third candle gives you a heavy distribution lower. So now there's even more conviction for price gravitating towards this sell side liquidity and possibly these trend line liquidities over here 
and then this sells our liquidity. So those could become your draws after each draw gets taken out and dependent on how price reacts after those draws get taken out. So dropping down onto the hourly now. Remember on the daily, you had your swing high fall. That means from your fourth candle onwards, you would anticipate for the distribution phase to begin. But, but because you already had this large bearish move, your third candle could also be the start of your distribution phase. So that means going into the fourth and fifth candle, you are going to hold a bearish bias until one of these draws are met. So dropping onto the hourly, let's see what you get here. Playing price out to the next day. So this is the start of New York session. Look at what price has done so far. It's just about had a body closure past that swing low. And look at the highs. Swing high, sweeps. Swing high, sweeps. This swing low was also formed. But like I said previously, because this is against your bias and how close we are relative to this drawn liquidity and your higher time frame direction is clearly bearish, this low is likely going to go and that could become your drawn liquidity. Right, and that is exactly what you get there. If you look closely at this, what this setup simply is, is a continuation of your daily swing high expansion to continue lower, in line with your weekly bearish bias. Remember, your weekly bearish bias was created from your three candles. And the daily, you, would, you are utilizing the reactions off of those three candles as well, right? Price is showing weakness to break higher. And here, these three candles are being broken through with ease. Hence why daily is bearish, weekly is bearish. So when you drop down to the hourly now, you are simply just playing the continuation. Price has had two sweeps here. So this high should ideally be a significant high. If price breaks through the high, that becomes a market structure break and your hourly is no longer aligned with your higher time frame, which is going to make your trade low probability. And if you look closely, this swing low that I mentioned gets broken through with a full body closure. That is your market structure break. So as you would have guessed, this is where you can have an entry, right? This area over here, you can have an entry off of there or wait for this candle to close. And if it leaves behind an imbalance, you could possibly refine it. But I would just enter off of the old low, stop loss above here. And I would look to target this next sell side liquidity for a nice 1.5R. So I'll move it like that, right? Tags you in. You could have had a refined entry here, but that's fine. Not every single trade is going to be perfect. And as you can see here, price continues to expand lower. And that is the beauty of taking trades when price is in the distribution phase. Because if you look here on the daily, you can see price just absolutely melts through the sell side liquidity after your free candle formation gets formed. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below in the comments. And like always, take care and I will see you guys in the next one.